So when we talk about mobile phone forensics, there's one question that comes up time and time again, and it is what we can and can't get from a particular mobile phone. The truth of it is, we really don't know until we actually get our hands on the device itself. There are so many different variables in relation to what the make and model of the phone is, what year the device is, what we're trying to achieve, whether it's deleted data or live data, whether it's messages or whether it's something from a social media application. All of this will depend on what type of extraction that we get and what type of material we're able to obtain. And we really don't know until we actually get our hands on the device itself. So, if you submit a mobile phone to Cypher for a forensic examination, there are certain bits of information that will streamline that process and make it an awful lot easier for you. First of all, we need the details of the case to understand what it is we're trying to achieve. We then need to know the make and model of the phone, ideally the data size of the phone, whether we need to extract it on site or whether we can extract it in our lab. But most importantly, and what we miss more often than not, is the pin to the phone or the password to the phone. If we have this at the earliest opportunity, this will ensure a much quicker service for yourselves. So in relation to mobile phone extractions, there are four main types of extraction. Physical extractions, which will retrieve live and deleted data. Logical extractions or live extractions, which will retrieve live data off the handset. We've got a halfway house, which is an advanced logical for some devices. And then we can also do manual extractions or manual interrogations of phone, where we physically get it ourselves and have a look through and we can start to look at particular types of applications or database information which we haven't been able to decode from the extraction. So remember, when you submit your inquiry to Sci4 and we take on your mobile phone investigation, we're always at the end of the line to give you assistance if needed. I'll always have an expert to be able to speak to you over the phone to help steer your investigation in the right direction and provide you with assistance when required.